Hey, Vincent. Vincent's uh, slightly ahead here in levels, but not too much to actually make a difference. Where he'll get a level advantage, not just yet. Sway low, wow. penalty zone cancelled as Yaoi jumps into the wild charge onto Vincent. Aran swings his sword, finds first blood. And now oh. Kabuki with a blazing duet to Sway low, looking for some damage and will be able to get it done. Audi tees, he forced to flick around, and even Cars now in a 1v3 gets a two man earth shatter. Go good, very low, but look at that. Aran slices him. Oh. And oh. Is their plan? They're looking to capitalize on it on this objective fight. The sway low trying to zone. But that's why the Angela finds so much value early on. Cars oh. are shattered and onward. And also wow. plays on to the back, but Iran also follows through with the Bravest Fighter onto Vincent, who's still clawing at him. Kabuki here. It's a 5v5, but look at the damage coming through from Aura. They've out sustained Rebellion. And Cars kiting back sway low in the midst of it all, getting Yaoi down. So Rome traded in for a jungler still in favor of Aura. I kind of don't expect and when to back off, and Rebellion is forced to respond. Well, if you look at it, technically Sway Low can provide good ganks, but he's saving the ultimate for bigger moments, like the big neutral objective fight. But this seems like the adjustment from Rebellion. They want to use it early on here before anything happens. We're going to go for a siege, but it's wild charge onto the back of Buki as well, without the hard guard, just dives in through from wide. The blue more oh. used up in the back, the oh. image will be used up, advantage. For Aura, that's a pick off and a Purify out of the penalty zone that forces Sway Low to be all alone. He's isolated completely. Flickers out late around with the Flicker and the stun. Yeheskill picks up the kill and Kabuki Whoa. is the one chasing down Onitizi. Jumps back to the battle mirror. In the enough time without any threat to zone him away. Whoa, look at this pick off. A knock up, a taunt into a wild charge as well. And Gugun just holding the back down all alone. Has the help of the hard guard as well to get up and onward. And the penalty zone onto him. Sway low. Gets bursted down before anyone can do anything about it. But Iran will fall as well. Now Vincent looking for the exit. Cuba Kabuki jumps into the battle room image to try to fend off from this damage. And they are successful at doing so. It's a two for one for Rebellion. They want to try to push the advantage. They want to get this win as convincingly as possible. And now with Gugun gone, they Ooh. want to take this one. Retri on cooldown. Dangerous spot for Rebellion. Kabuki's on it, but there you go. Vincent waits for the timer, and now Yaoi gets punished. Moai picks up the kill. His third one in this game, and Kabuki will be forced back. Great small victory for Rebellion. There's no and when you're forced to go on a team fight and just losing, there's no second option. It's tough. As you were talking to Orashi, Vincent finished off the endless battle. Oh, penalty zone into the bush. They read it out. Iran gets caught. And now will just be bursted down by Moai, who's on a killing spree. Isolated by the barrier. Car still in the midst of it all. That's an appraiser's trap. But Swaylo is able to flicker out of it just in time. Cars, no immobility. Oh. He just runs at him. Pops the BMI oh. back. And Rebellion get a good trade. 1-0. Well, this is more of a mid game power spike for Rebellion, so they're trying to use it as much as possible. Seems like there's going to be a fight breaking out, though. Sway low, going uh -oh. aggressive. The zone dodged away from the Lord, reset it. And Gugun oh. wants to go for a fight, dashes forward, taunts cars. But Sway low doesn't have that initiation tool, not anymore. He has to wait for that cooldown to be back on. Oh! oh. Charge! Yowie strikes! And that's the follow up from the back as well. Kabuki dealing some damage. Sway low, isolated. Only trading the roamer as Cars is going to be all alone. Pops in Primal Wrath on Kabuki! Jumps into the Blazing Duet and the Appraiser's Wrath gets rid of Hawaii! In the back, Audi forced the flicker all the way. But now it's Vincent who's chasing him down. The light could pounce, chasing Kabuki. He does two damage to Hesky. Oh! Stunned up by Audi TZ. And Vincent in the light can form. Doesn't matter, not at all. Even Kabuki right now, he's having a perfect game. 5 0 3 hasn't picked up my Rebellion just yet, but it looks like he's completely lost. It's hard to engage at this point. True. And on top of that, the siege potential of a Brody. They have a very, very complete composition for now, Rebellion. 2.7k gold lead, building up to three! Oh! Five man! Oh no, it's Whoa. just a four man penalty zone, but Sway low that could have been a bit too. Far ahead, man. He isolated himself. Now Swaylo free to be picked up on a run. He jumps it all alone as well. That's a trade one for one. But Vincent's looking for the last hit onto Gugun. The XP traded in for the mid lane, and Rebellion still have ways to deal with this turret. The Swaylo dive was worth it. At this point, we've seen the man advantage. We've seen a lot of mistakes. I mean, oh! Meanwhile, though, another wild charge as Kabuki tries to deal with Swaylo, but the healing is too much. Vincent now diving deep. Hard guard force in Vincent. Running back, I think he was about oh. to run! 
with a three man. Stun in the back with the Bravest Fighter, but now gets taunted again. And the sustain is just ridiculous for Rebellion. They go all in, but it's still a fair trade. It's one for one on the point of view right now with yes, kill on the Angela. Or play a defensive game. They have a DPS advantage when it comes to Claude versus Brody. So if they can just use all their spells defensively instead, they can maybe have something. But look at Yaoi. Very, very low. Wild charge. Stunning Vincent and Cars over to the back. Battle Mirror Image. Plays off by Kabuki Vincent. Oh my goodness. Pouncing now again on the Lycan form. That's your head skill in the back. Solo taken out by Moai and Audi Teezy. Four for O, oh, only Aran, the last dragon, left to the fan against four bulls charging down. Aran for the Bravest Fighter, instantly deleted. An unofficial maniac as the blue bulls charge through the base. 17 minutes. Game one to Rebellion. The horns is too much for Aura. The Breath of Fires doesn't matter against the blue bulls. And this might be the start that they're looking for. The competitiveness. They are not playing this time around. They know the stakes. Or the QC instead of the usual Brave Smite nowadays. Aura though. Uh -oh. Look at the pressure. Goku going the long way around the cars. Gets a good petrify. Now the Lycan Pounce. One more hit should do it with the Retribution. Vincent secures first blood. And Aran is forced to use the Vengeance. Rebellion win out in a big, big trade. Sway low in cars now, just clearing it out. They definitely read him like a book. They know that Gugun is coming. This is the usual pattern before the turtle fight for Aura. And punish them right. Zone them. Aran doesn't have vengeance. Now the Black Dragon for him with the hard card as well. They're forced out. Arano locked out by the penalty zone and just sliced by Kars. Spinning that Dragon Tail and getting another kill on the board. Already a different story from game one. The domination. Oh, judgment there, but Moai just flickers out. And now, oh, good cancel from Audi Tease. He gets a healing gun, Moai! <laughs> Amazing plays, now the lockdown as well. Gugun cannot run away. Sway low with the last swing of his hammer. Will take Gugun out of the land of dawn. It's a 4-0 start for Rebellion. What is For sure. A territory that they're not familiar with. Meanwhile, Gugun. I don't know about this. Aran gonna be popping into vengeance, but Gugun is gonna lose his life in the back just by the Black Dragon form. The two oh fighters in the back, and Swaylo just flickers out Vincent as well. Did he take the orange buff away? He did. Aura cannot do anything. Gugun is down, and Cars and Swaylo, the two fighters, are zoning Yaoi away. He's gonna have to flap his wings all the way back to the tier two. Only Tizzy with a beautiful flicker. Just gets Ooh. out. They're gonna go for the trade, but I don't even know if they're gonna be able to get it. Oh. Black Dragon is online, just diving to the back now, has the Petrify as well, he's chilling, he doesn't even use it! Cars with a Dragon Tail, bottom lane is a turret Gugun! Taken out again though, he gets out, just barely. But my goodness, this got the Lord around. Oh, oh, Crystal. Moai with the Holy Crystal completed. Mm. And keep in mind, Vincent also has the War Axe, and the Fleeting Time is completed for Audit TZ. So for, if they want to go aggressive right here, they are very willing to use all their spells. Unless Yaoi can just do something crazy right Ooh. here, make a game-saving play, seems like it's only a matter of time. And even if they're trying to clear the waves right here, with Moai having so much range to play around with, they might just get bursted down. Black Dragon forms in the back to try to zone him. Yaoi already concealed, looking for Moai as well. Swaylo taking a lot of turrets. Turret shots there, but has the immortality. Yaoi, oh! oh! Penalty zone to stop him, distracts Moai. Just steals three damage to the back. Vincent, like it, pounce. Even Kabuki with a hard guard can't really do much. Oh. He flickers forward, he gets a double kill, but then gets shredded down. Vincent again! It's a triple kill, looking for one last shot onto Arad, who's able to dash towards his base. But now that's one base turret down. Look at the mid lane. It's another falling, crumbling. And now it's Audi flickering forward to Arad. Vincent doesn't care. He'll take that damage. And he'll just go straight for the base to get a clean sweep up against number three in the standings. The Dragons have been charged down by the Blue Bulls. Against all odds. Against what's happening outside of the game for Rebellion. They bounce back. Quite convincingly at that, 2-0 against the Dragons! One of the better teams of MPL Indonesia's 